G'day everyone, I'm Callum and I'm here at AVDC and today I'm going to show you Helix's P6 DSP integrated DSP amplifier. Let's check it out! So here is the P6 DSP Mark II by Helix. Really beautiful piece of hardware and I can't wait to show it to you guys today. But first of all, I'm going to talk about some of the specifications. So as the name suggests, the P6 DSP is a DSP sound processor with a six channel amplifier built in. Now what separates this from a lot of DSP amplifiers is its power output. It's like I say, it's a six channel amplifier. The first four channels are rated at four ohms at 120 watts per channel. And the last two channels do that as well, but they're also capable of 230 watts RMS at two ohms so you could drive things like subwoofers or active speaker systems with low impedance mid bases really well. And even though this is rated at a fairly optimistic 1% harmonic distortion, it is still a very high power output compared to the 65 to 80 watts RMS that you tend to get from most sound processors. So that is definitely a standout feature of the P6 DSP. It's got six channels of input, which can be low or high level. It also has two RCA outputs so that you can connect a larger speaker or subwoofer amplifier in particular. Now compared to a lot of processors or amplifiers in its class, it also has an exceptional frequency response all the way from 20 hertz to 44 kilohertz, which is fantastic for high res music formats and very high end sound systems. So to have that sort of frequency response in a uh, DSP amplifier all in one is just fantastic quality. It is rated nominally for 0.008% total harmonic distortion, which is very exceptionally low distortion. Uh, it would be more interesting to see the power output at that level, um, even though they've rated it at 1% here. There are some other features that are relevant on this as well, including things like the HEC slot, which I'm gonna talk a little bit more about very soon. But for now, that's all fantastic. Most of it is information you can read on their website anyway. So why don't we show you the thing? Absolutely beautiful embossed box that this comes in. You have, of course, the user manual. And behold, the P6 DSP. What a beautiful looking piece of equipment. It's just a stunning black brushed alloy finish. Just really cool. And you, you can imagine how good this would look in a, in a range of different stealth and show installs depending on what you're going for so on this end you've got your inputs both low level with some beautiful gold plated rca connectors as well as the six channel high level inputs now these have adjustments that can be made inside the amplifier with some jumpers to select the voltage range that uh, the high level inputs can take now that may not come into play when you're running just normal four channel speaker outputs from a head unit's built in amplifier, but if you have a large sound system like in some BMWs or Audis with large subwoofers, they can put out a very high voltage from their amplifier and you can change the voltage range in this amplifier to take that input uh, without distortion, which is really cool. You've got separate input sensitivity for the three groups of channels as well as an optical input. So those of you who want to run high res music um, streamers or uh, head units with optical outputs straight into here, that's certainly capable. You've got a control input for their uh, remote control um, unit, as well as USB for tuning, as well as uh, an LED and button here for controlling different modes of the system. All right, and on the other end here, you have uh, our system connectors for power input in the middle there, quite sizable four gauge connections. You have your stereo line output, again, gold plated RCA terminals, fantastic. Remote output to trigger external amplifiers. So these are really come in handy if you look to upgrade either now or in future with a external subwoofer amplifier. Then you have on this side, the first four channels of the amplifier output, channels A through D. Um, again, quite hefty, uh, you know, 10 gauge grub screw terminals. So lots of room there. Uh, a clip and fuse light so you know if the internal fuse has an issue uh, and also a clip light to uh, help you set up the limits of your system as well as uh, the other two output channels on this side so uh, ready to go for your whole six channel setup 
Now, apart from the apart from the DSP amplifier in this box, you also get a USB tuning cord and a set of Allen keys for connections as well as screws for fastening it down. So really quite a simple setup there, but it's really all you need with such a well-integrated device. So that is your introduction to the Helix P6 DSP Mark II. Obviously the next thing to do is to show you this installed in a car, and that's what we're gonna be doing very soon here at AVDC. And we can, I can assure you that when we do, we'll take you along for the ride because I would love to show you the software and the ease of installation of a unit like this, as well as give you some impression on how it performs. So stay tuned here at AVDC. And did you really think I was gonna do a review or an unboxing like that without showing you what's inside. Let me get a screwdriver. What a stunning piece of hardware. 